My name is Nakari Kuroda and this is my story. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everyone. Hi, everyone. Well, hey, everyone. Just wanted to take a few moments and share about uh, my story and just what Christ has done in my life. Prior to my life in Christ, I was uh, raised in the church. I always had this sense that God existed. My family was actually Catholic at the time. I grew up in the church. Um, and around church. So I knew who God was. I believed in Jesus, I believed in God, but I wasn't living my life for that. I understood what Christ uh, had done for me on the cross, um, but I didn't, I didn't really... really know the severity of my sins. I kind of just felt afraid. I just remember feeling like uh, it just, it wasn't important in my life. I wasn't really walking with him. I didn't have a personal relationship with Jesus. I didn't really kind of live in the image of the Lord. I was trying to find happiness in all the wrong places. I really went my own way. I was pursuing my own pleasures, my own desires, my own selfishness, my own dreams. And really God had no place in that. I started going on my own path, um, down a path of, of destruction and chaos. But even then, he was working in my life. He was planting seeds. From there is when the Lord really started working in us. Um, I think more so my mom, because I was really young at the time still. I was probably like eight. When I was 12, I remember talking with my mom and uh, just asking her some questions. And really around my early 20s, he really started to awaken in me desire to have a relationship with him. Probably my junior year is when I really understood the magnitude of, of just being a Christian. January 2nd, 2014, for the first time in my life, I prayed to the Lord, poured my heart out to him, cried and wept like a baby. I came to know Christ at 15 years old. I went to a youth conference and I remember going forward at that youth conference and just bawling my eyes out. I just came to the understanding that uh, Christ uh, died on the cross for my sins. There was nothing that I could ever do to earn my salvation but that it was a free gift. It wasn't about me. It wasn't about anything that I had to do, anything that I could do, but it was all about what God had already done for me through his son Jesus Christ. And I just knew right then and there that I needed the Lord in my life and I needed change because whatever I was doing wasn't working. And He rescued me from those things. Since giving my life to the Lord, uh, my wife is now uh, a believer in Jesus Christ. She's been baptized. My son has also indicated that he has given his life to the Lord. Um, we are a family serving him. I had started going to church with my sister and um, my life really changed. It really changed. I just wasn't the same person. I could feel myself changing and I would call my mom and I would talk to her about it. And like, I like I can definitely feel the Lord working through me. I was getting all this information. I was um, about who Jesus was and even about scripture, you know, diving in. And just the, oh, I get emotional. <laughs> um, just the l love that the Lord has for me over these past like five years has been incredible. I have grown as a person tremendously. And just the joy that I have in my life now since giving my life to Christ has just been overwhelmingly good. I knew that I had hope um, in a future and I could have joy even through the midst of challenging times. I can't wait to be in heaven. I am secure in Him, that I have this relationship with Him, and that I'm forgiven. Life hasn't been perfect, but it's been so worth giving my life over to Him. And I'm so thankful for God that this is my story. Obviously there's a lot more to my story, but this is just like a really small snippet of it. Uh, so that's my story. Um, and if you'd like to know more, please reach out to me, uh, message me. And I would love uh, to see um, Christ change your life as well. To see what Jesus can do for you because he's done a lot for me and so many other people that I know and he's just awesome. So that's it. Love you guys. God bless. Be safe. Thanks for listening. All right. We'll see you.